Well, if it isn't the champ. This is a fun surprise. They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new dark horse ring. The what now? The ring you're naming after me to inspire the recruits. To do what? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horses Wrestling. Uh, okay, I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah, last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. Lucky? You're saying I'm I got... I'm saying you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm going to base my opinion of you on that. Not the five minutes you've been champion. No one's taking the title off me yet. Oh, between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could Pick give your you best one and have them meet me in the ring. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being...
Hey, when did you get in? This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself? Uh, apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to It's them. a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages. Remember? How could I forget? You're the one who got us into this whole mess. You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean, do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you were too gullible to realize you were getting matfished. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah, and it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look, you're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, make sure to pick up that dongle. There is no title, but a lot of pride on the line as the Dark Horse looks for redemption tonight against digital trickster J.D. McDonough. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM, but it really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity outside of it. Nice Japanese arm drag. Neck twist, ruthless. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Savage stomp right to the arm. Both putting their full weight on the arm. Oh, and a rare super kick. From behind, nasty. Face watch. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD's got to find his spot and take advantage. He's been placed in the corner now. Uh-oh. Face for a turnbuckle. Legging vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Oh, right hand. No, 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 no. This, this is bad news. No way. Oh. From the top. That move on its own will knock the wind out of you, but from that height, it'll knock the earth and fire out of you, too. Ripcord applied. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. An agile escape. Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. This combination of strikes. Incredible combination. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Whoa. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Big boy. This spells trouble for McDonough.
for now, Saxton. The WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. JD isn't going to let this loss slow him down, though. Think of it as fuel for him moving forward. And you can see it in his eyes. The champ is coming to this one focused and ready for a fight. The title is not on the line here tonight, but that is not going to keep him from keeping up the intensity in this one. He's only become more and more driven since becoming the champion, and we'll surely see that drive here in this one. And then there's Omax looming across the ring. The Nigerian giant doesn't leave much physical space for his opponents in the ring. In there, you're only mere inches away from the destructive grasp of Omax. He possesses a type of ferocity opponents rarely see. Nothing flashy, just pure annihilation in the eyes of the Rams. He is looking to do some serious harm. Counters with an elbow right into the face. Face watch. right back at them in the shine of that championship goal. The stakes are higher than ever as Omos challenges the dark horse for the WWE Universe Springboard. Shooting star! Risking it all and able to connect like a holy missile. Delivering nasty stakes. They're playing away as battling in this area. clear this is in fact not that kind of match Super good night and the pressure on Omas continues to mount Omas has to exhibit some resiliency now from the top he misses the target short flight but a rough landing oh swan time 
He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He's thinking a steel toe just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Canadian destroyer. The challenger eating up some damage. Into the corner. This can't be good. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Mike. Locking in the anchors for what we're about to see. Spider German suplex from the top. And he's just... Oh, my God. Misses. Saw that coming. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. Champion. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Fantastic jumping, spinning heel kick. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up.
champ. Apparently, Tony D'Angelo thinks you cut in line at catering. Frankly, I hope you did. In my day, there were perks to being champion. Oh, but this new generation of snowflakes thinks they've had their rights infringed upon if they've got to wait two minutes for a turkey burger. I'd love to see you take D'Angelo on and remind him of the hierarchy around here. Make it a chairs match, so he doesn't forget the champ doesn't just eat when he wants, he sits where he wants too. In a catering line for the champ, allegedly. If the allegations are true, the Dark Horse should be ashamed. As WWE Universal Champion, he's supposed to set the example. He is. Why else would you want to be champion if not for the perks? Uh, glory, honor, and the best piece of prime rib. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Super kick! Into the barricade. Boom. Looking for something, anything under the ring. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Counters. Oh. Oh no. And a reverse DDT. shield. Now Tony is getting beaten down. Tony's on the wrong side of every exchange. One wicked attack after another. Oh, great. We are into our ringside furniture here. The tower through the air and connects. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Oh, this, this. Uh-oh. He turns it around. D'Angelo finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. And now gets tossed into the ring. Crushing oh. knee strike. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. I am afraid of what we are about to see. Spiked into the ring apron. Uh oh, he's searching for something. Bringing a steel chair into play here. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And this match is not over yet. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? A downhill stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to. He better think of a quick count. That's a counter with style. As them hooked. Rolling cutter. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Oh, man. D'Angelo looking powerless to every attack. Tony's on the wrong side of every exchange. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Ooh! D'Angelo one step ahead. D'Angelo finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Yeah, D'Angelo able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? Whip back into the ring. As their opponent for the Northern Light Suplex. Oh, 
kick out late into the match. How did he do that?